Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nusha binti Ahmad Safawi So we from group 8 So today we are going to do our free presentation About noise cancellation filter In telephone line This is my group member Which is me Nusha binti Ahmad Safawi Muhammad Hazib bin Ramlan Muhammad Akmal bin Rizwan And lastly Fitri Muhaimin in mobile telephone line, it is common problem that an interfering signal is introduced into the microphone signal when the mobile is transmitting. This interfering signal is transmitted along with the speed signal to the receiver. Due to the noise and humming sound of the interfering signal, it is commonly denotes the bubble B waveform. Since interleaving of data is util utilized, and since uh, control data transmission is also necessary, the connection between transmitter frames and speech frames is uh, somewhat complicated. Okay, for next part, I am Mama Azib Rabla with metric number DE200110. We explain for the methodology part. Okay, to reduce noise in telephone line, we will use the additive filter, which is FIR filter. Additive FIR filter, on the other hand, consists of the several types of structure. A transversal filter in FIR, which computation of multiplier, delay unit, and address. A filter coefficient is used to multiply each delay input to each multiplier. For noise cancellation in telephone line, there are two signals are being received in the same time. The signal plus the noise is, is, is in one. Hence, we will use the real-time digital signal processing, which uh, DAC converts the processor output to the uh, analog data. Lastly, the simulation will be done in simulation software to analyze the noise cancellation for the telephone line. Okay, next, uh, this is the flowchart for the uh, process uh, for the simulation process as you can see from the start we set the sampling for the input then we create the model uh, in the simulation to according to the block diagram uh, after that we test and run the model and observe the out output signal if the result satisfy we proceed and analyze the signal for the result and that's a uh, complete uh, simulation process for the uh, noise cancellation and that's it for the methodology hello and welcome my name is Muhammad Akmal Birizwan and my method ID is I AA190023. Okay, so for today's presentation, I will present you the simulation for our digital signal processing project. Okay, so in this project, we are using the simulating model to design our digital, digital signal processing system. So this is the block diagram that we are using for our system. As you can see, we have the multimedia file, the random source, and as a, to act as a noise, and then we have the low pass filter and the filter designer to filter the frequency. Okay. So for the low pass filter, we set up the passband frequency at 2 kHz Okay, 2 kHz And then the stop band frequency at 5 kHz uh, And then we set up the sampling rate at 44.1 kHz Okay and Then we use this we use this mic, uh, speaker to portray the sound Okay this is, this is a filter designer for the frequency filter Okay, so we, I will run the simulation first for 10 seconds Okay Okay, so we wait well because it takes time to run. Okay. Okay. So as we can see. The discrete Fourier transform of a real valued signal is conjugate symmetric. This the discrete the Fourier transform of a real valued signal is conjugate symmetric. Okay, so as you can see, this is the sum before the signal passing through the low pass filter. Okay, so now we will hear the signal the sound after the after the signal pass through the low pass filter okay the discrete Fourier transform of a real valued signal is conjugate symmetric the discrete Fourier transform of a real valued signal is conjugate symmetric okay, so this is the sound after the signal is being filtered so as you can see this is the graph for the original signal Okay, and then this is the graph for the filter signal. As you can see, the filter managed to remove the noise from the original signal. Okay, as for the spectral analyzer over here, as you can see, as I said for this, the passband is 2 kHz. So, at 2 kHz, as you can see, the signal starting to go down over here. Meaning that the signal being filtered and at 5 kHz, I believe between this area, uh, is the stop band for the frequency. And then for the frequency filter, as you can see, this is the frequency filter for this signal. Okay, I think that's all from for me. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Fitri. So this is the conclusion for our project. Because this paper present to not filter based solution to reduce the humming disturbance in mobile telephone and the first is a straightforward solution with not filter. Reducing the disturbance considerably but not totally. The second solution is a dual as noise filter solution with internal knowledge of the GSM transmission pattern. 
and consistency. With this method of full elimination of the bumblebee can be achieved, while the simple method is appropriate for exterior electronic equipment. The second more advanced cancellation is suit, suit for internal cancellation in the mobile telephone. So that's all for our group. Thank you.